Hello everyone. Good morning all of you. In today's video lecture, we will discuss about last part of this topic that is basics of phytochemistry. In that phytochemistry means it is the study of phytochemicals which are chemicals derived from plants. And in this part, we will discuss about chromatography technique. In that chromatography, chromatography means that it is an analytical technique that is separation and isolation techniques like uh, thin layer chromatography that is PLC, column chromatography, paper chromatography. These are the various techniques included in that chromatography technique. So chromatography means that so chromatography is the most versatile separation technique and involves separation of two or more substances by distribution between a fixed or stationary phase and a moving or mobile phase. Chromatography is used for separation, isolation, purification and identification of components in a mixture. Plant materials can be separated and purified using various chromatographic techniques. Herbal medicine is a complex system of mixtures. The identification methods for botanical drugs obtain a characteristic fingerprint of a specific plant that shows the presence of a particular quality defining chemical constituent. Chromatographic technique like high performance liquid chromatography, gas chromatography, gas chromatography, mass spectrometry, GCMS and thin layer chromatography that is TLC are widely used for such a purposes. Chromatography hikaya hai the separation, isolation, purification and identification of components in a mixture. आपल्याला मिक्सर मधले जे काही कंपोनेंट्स आहेत ते ट्रा आयडेंटिफिकेशन सेपरेशन आयसोलेशन आणि प्युरिफिकेशन करण्यासाठी आपण क्रोमॅटोग्राफी ही टेक्निक्स यूज करतो क्रोमॅटोग्राफी इज द मोस्ट वर्सटाइल सेपरेशन टेक्निक अँड इन्वॉल्व्स सेपरेशन ऑफ टू ऑर मोर सबस्टन्सेस बाय डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन बिटवीन ए फिक्स्ड फेज अँड ए मूविंग फेज fixed phase that is stationary phase and moving phase that is mobile phase. Chromatography is used as separation, isolation, purification and identification of components in a mixture. Then plant materials can be separated and purified using various chromatographic techniques. Herbal medicine is a complex system of mixture. Thus, the identification methods for botanical drugs obtain a characteristic fingerprint for a specific plant that shows the presence of a particular quality defining chemical constituent. Chromatographic techniques like high performance liquid chromatography, gas chromatography, gas chromatography plus mass spectrometry that is GCMS and thin layer chromatography are widely used for such a purposes. Then techniques of chromatography in that adsorption column chromatography in that in this chromatography technique the solid support example is activated alumina, powdered cellulose, silicic acid or kesselgar is packed as a dry solid or as a slurry into a tube of glass, plastic or other suitable material having a restricted orifice that is protected by a sintered glass disc or efflux of the mobile phase. These are the techniques in that first one that is adsorption column chromatography. In that the solution of material to be subjected to chromatography is added to the column top to flow into the adsorption. Then the solvent constituting the mobile phase is added to the column top to flow downwards either under gravity or by applying positive pressure. These techniques you seen in the uh, analysis subject. So the column top 
during this process should not become dry the effluent solution or the eluate is monitored either continuously for example with a flow through uv absorption cell or serially for example collecting fractions at intervals determined by time volume or weight of eluate and subsequent examination of each fraction for the separate component these are first that is adsorption column chromatography then partition col column chromatography in this chromatographic technique one liquid phase is held on the surface of stationary phase that is a chromatographic support while the other liquid that is the mobile phase is passed through the pack column thus maintaining an intimate contact between the two phases this is the stage where distribution of the sample components occur then next one that is paper chromatography in paper chromatography it is similar to thin layer chromatography and also based on some principle followed as per the uh, thin layer chromatography that is adsorption so expect that paper chromatography also works based on the partition principle where paper is made up of cellulose which is a polymer of simple sugar or glucose so cellulose contains hydroxy group that is oh group that is very polar so the compounds are from hydrogen bond or interact by van der waals dispersion force and dipole dipole forces hence it acts as a stationary phase with principle of partition so based on the method a paper chromatography is of five types in that ascending descending ascending descending the circular chromatography and two dimensional thin layer chromatography these are the five types in that in paper chromatography a coarse paper is used instead of a packed column therefore the solid support of silica jet for the polar phase is replaced with a filter paper a partially water miscible organic solvent example is butanol or colidine is preferably used it is a water miscible organic solvent so paper chromatography technique involves the analysis of an unknown compound by the flow of solvent on a specially designed filter paper one solvent is one solvent is miscible immiscible or partially miscible in the other solvent the separation of components occurs due to the differences in partition coefficient and is affected by the differential migration of the mixture of substances the speed of an ion in a given system for the given phase and support and under the given conditions that is temperature that is the retardation factor or retention ratio should be measured this is the ratio of the distance traveled by the solute from the original line to the distance traveled by the solvent front from the original line thus rf value is equal to distance moved by the solute from the original line divided by distance moved by the solvent from the original line so this is the formula for rf value in chromatography in paper chromatography it is the retention factor or retention ratio the apparatus for paper chromatography should be selected depending on the amount of laboratory space available horizontal or circular paper chromatography demands 
a large space tank, a standard PXC tank. However, it has a good resolution and is used for separating carotenoids. On a laboratory scale, paper chromatography is carried out in tanks containing Wattman filter paper 46 into 57 cm. Descending paper chromatography is mostly preferred since the solvent can be more easily overrun and is also more, more convenient for two dimensional separations. In this technique of paper chromatography, the compounds react with a chromato, uh, sorry, chromogenic reagent used as a spray or a dip and are then detected as a colored or UV fluorescent spots. Dipping is easier for large sheets, but the solvent content of the spray should be modified to achieve weak drying and avoid diffusion during the dipping. So the paper is then heated to develop the colors. Paper chromatography is widely used for the separation of complex mixtures of amino acids, peptides, carbohydrates, steroids, purines, various simple organic compounds and even inorganic ions. Some examples are that is applications in that it is used for determining indoles in urine, it is used in the study of barbiturates, antibiotics, phosphates and amino acids. It is also used in the study of inorganic metal salts and complex ions. These are the applications of this paper chromatography. The next one is thin layer chromatography. Thin layer chromatography is also called as solid liquid adsorption chromatography. This method is most popular and simple planar chromatography technique used for separation of compounds from the plant extra. So TLC is a simple yet significant chromatographic technique used for separation of compounds. It is widely used in the phytochemical evaluation of herbal drugs due to the following reasons in that it involves rapid analysis of herbal extracts using minimum sample cleanup requirement. It provides qualitative and semi-quantitative information of the resolved compounds. It also allows the quantification of chemical constituents. The data in TLC fingerprinting is recorded using a high performance TLC that is HP TLC scanner that includes the chromatogram, retardation factor that is RF values and other color of separated bands with absorption spectra. Lambda max and shoulder inf inflections of all the resolved bands. The TLC fingerprint profile of the sample can be represented by the above mentioned data and also the profiles or derivatization with the different reagents. The obtained information facilitates the identification of an authentic drug and the adulterants and also maintains the drug quality and consistency. Long before the instrumental chromatography methods like GC and HPLC were established. So TLC was the preferred method for herbal analysis. Applications of TLC, it enables qualitative in identification of compounds based on their flow rate along with the plate. Various qualitative applications of TLC are it enables quantitative analysis of compounds by estimating the spot area and the amount of material in the spot. Different techniques for quantitative assay of substance using TLC are in that gas liquid chromatography. This is the technique of GLC is considered ideal for separating and purifying volatile substances and fatty acids 
the volatile substance to be analyzed is injected in the apparatus vaporized and percolated through the long column filled with fine granules of inert material these granules are coated with suitable substances that the bands of compounds travel through the column and are combusted in the combustion of part at the outlet the carrier gas example is nitrogen helium and argon is selected based on the sample nature and is passed through the column so the two commonly used detectors in gas liquid chromatography are flame ionization detector that is fid and thermal conductivity detector that is dcd the obtained results are recorded graphically indicating different peaks whose area can be calculated for quantitative estimation so application of gas liquid chromatography it is used for the assay of starting materials and drug substances it is used for the quantification of drug to formulations it is used for the assay of impurities and or solvents in the raw materials or in the drug substances it is used for examining many volatile oils plant acids alkaloids of opium tobacco and belladonna residues of cannabis steroidal compounds cardioactive glycosides and aglycon sugars and amino acids these are the applications of gas liquid chromatography then gas solid chromatography that is gsc the separation technique of gsc utilizes a carrier gas that is helium or nitrogen as the mobile phase and an adsorbent that is silica gel alumina or carbon as the stationary phase solute distribution occurs between the gaseous mobile phase and the adsorbent surface the solute distribution isotherm between a gas and a solid surface occurs as the langmuir or the friedrich isotherm and thus the isotherms approach linearity only at very low concentration of solute so applications of this gas solid chromatography it is used for separating permanent gases or the lower molecular weight hydrocarbons with the help of special phase systems it is used for separating halogens and other highly corrosive gases and vapors next one that is high performance liquid chromatography in that the hplc is a high resolution chromatographic technique which is widely used in the pharmaceutical industries for process development and identification and detection of adulterants in herbal products it also facilitates the identification of pesticide content and mycotoxins and it has been reported that a number of samples can be simultaneously run using smaller quantity of mobile phase than in hplc it has also been reported that mobile phase of ph8 and above can be used for hptlc which also offers an advantage of repeated detection that is scanning of the chromatogram with the same or different conditions therefore hptlc is used for simultaneous assay of several components in a multi component formulation so application of this high performance liquid chromatography it is used for separating various structurally similar components in plant extract example analysis of digitalis cinchona licoris and ergot extract it is also used for determining the stability of various pharmaceuticals example is stability studies of atropine it is used for the analysis of complex molecules like antibiotics and peptide hormones whose bioassays are expensive time consuming require duplicates and results in poor precision then next one is 
electrophoresis we can see this image of electrophoresis in that the technique of electrophoresis involves migration of a charged particle under the influence of electric field in that electro charge particle and forces that is moment electro means charge particle and forces means moment so electro forces so there are many important biological molecules like amino acids peptides proteins nucleotides and nucleides nucleic acids that possesses ionizable groups and exist in solution as electrically charged species that is cations or anions at a given ph the charged particles under the influence of an electric field migrate to either cathode or anode based on the nature of their net charge these are the electrophoresis technique the technique of electrophoresis involves migration of a charged particle under the influence of electric field there are many important biological molecules like amino acids peptides proteins nucleotides nucleic acid that possess ionizable groups and exist in solution as electrically charged species that is cations or anions at a given ph so these charged particles under the influence of an electric field migrate to either cathode or anode based on the nature of their net charge then capillary electrophoresis in that it is a technique that provides separation efficiencies of the order of 4 into 105 theoretical plates it provides a rapid analysis than gel electrophoresis and utilizes detector systems such as the laser induced fluorescence detector along with a high resolution thus increasing sensitivity 500 times over uv detection so this method is used for the analysis of flavonoids one of the major advantage of capillary electrophoresis over the separation technique is its ability to separate charged and uncharged molecules these are the instrumentation of capillary electrophoresis in that sample sample injection system then inlet capillary then high voltage electrodes then detectors and outlets so these are the instrumentation of capillary electrophoresis capillary electrophoresis it has high uh, separation efficiency it is alternate method for hplc and the method is automated and fast separation and requires small sample size for analysis and it has ability to separate both charge and non charge particle molecules applications in that the method is used in the analysis of herbal medicines it helps in separation and analysis of active ingredients in herbal medicines then it is a good for producing the chemical fingerprints of the herbal medicines then biomolecules such as alkaloids and flavonoids are studied with this technique and it helps in dna sequencing analysis and dna fragment length analysis so in that it provides a high separation efficiency it takes short time for analysis and it requires less amount of sample and electrolyte it generate less waste it is easy to operate a disadvantage of this method in that since the capillary tube has a small diameter it is dissipate and causes increased diffusion so thus resulting in inaccurate resolution so in this video lecture we will end up with this electrophoresis technique then summary included in this ppt of this 
चैप्टर ओके थैंक यू